I may have just said one of my favorite me memories of NWA, but I'll say it again. Um, one was seeing my name on the back of Straight Outta Compton in the thank yous. Uh, two was probably being at the video shoots for some of those videos. And I remember we had the Funkadelic t-shirt and uh, we went to a video one time and uh, Dre had asked if we, um, if he could wear the shirt for one of the videos. Uh, that might have even been a Snoop video, but of course that came off that family tree too, Snoop Dogg, of course. But um, seeing that T-shirt in a video, the Funkadelic shirt that actually was on the back of my friend, she took it straight off and gave it to him to him to wear. My favorite NWA moment or memory was when we had just finished the mixtape. We were at my house right here in Wilmington. And uh, Steve goes, what are you going to do today? And I said, I don't know. You know, I just got paid. I had 200 bucks in my pocket. So he says, hey, I got a couple of tickets. You want to go with me to an NWA show? And I said, are you serious? And he goes, yeah. He goes, right here in Anaheim. So now I remember coming from a strict family. I, had, I said, well, I got to ask my mom. So I asked my mom. Carlos was there. Little Carlos was there. And I asked, uh, he goes, I got an extra ticket. And I go, I got a friend down the street. So the, I went outside. The first guy that I could see, you want to go with me to an NWA concert? Yeah. We drove his blue band to the Anaheim Celebrity Theater. That was such a unique place because there the stage actually turned. Yeah. And we got to go backstage. I saw the DOC there, you know, Q, Dre, Easy, Ren, you name it, everyone was there. And then I remember somebody knocks on the door and says, come on, let's go. I turn around. It's a big, tall, white dude with a uh, black trench coat, and it was Jerry Heller. Yep. Yeah, that's when I met him. And uh, I walked in, and he goes, let's go, let's go, you, you, let's go, let's go, let's go. And he looks at me, he goes, hey, how you doing? Uh, and I said, hey, uh, uh, um, how are you? I didn't, you know, I didn't know how to approach him. Stuck out his hand, I, I shook it, and that was my first encounter, not only with going to an NWA show, but also meeting Jerry. Yeah. You know, so that, to me, that was my uh, uh, favorite moment, especially because during the concert, it, it was just so electric. Mm -hmm. It was just so electric. And I, I remember I came home and I told my brothers, man, you know what? I don't gangbang, but after watching that show, it makes me want to throw up, you know, something, you know? Yeah. It was just uh, it was just an awesome experience for me. So now, while you were talking about that, it, right before you started talking, it sparked my memory of what of a big uh, something that meant a lot to me. And that was the show in Anaheim at the celebrity theater in the round where the thing turned. And, um, that was my birthday, uh, weekend. And so it was somewhere around March 26. So it either was on March 26 or right around there. And, uh, Eric, um, easy, a uh, girlfriend, Joyce said that Eric wanted to throw me a birthday party at mm. that concert. And so um, I remember being very excited and he said, invite my friends to come down to the show and all that. So I got a bunch of tickets for that show. And before the show started, I remember that they announced, you know, oh, happy birthday, Violet, and that sort of thing. And after the show was over, we were going to go in the back and they had food and cake and that sort of thing. And uh, Joyce and uh, my friend Carla had hooked up all that in the back. And Layla, I believe, mm -hmm. was in the back because he was like the security or whatever. And so uh, after the show was over, um, we went into the back. And the, and I remember Joyce saying, where'd all that chicken go? And Layla had eaten all of the food for the party during the show. But we still had a cake and I had a party. And it was a fond memory getting a birthday card signed by all the acts that were there the DOC and all that, as well as all of NWA. So and I think salt and Pepper was there for some reason, hmm. weren't they? Hmm. I don't remember I that one. I think so. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I just remember it was a pretty crazy show. And, and, and I remember we had to leave out of there pretty quickly because yes. there was a lot of stuff going on on the outside. That there is true. Some fighting. Yeah, that's true. I remember Dre performing, and there were some guys there from Compton that were throwing up their Compton jackets. And then he started fighting. Dre stops the music, gets on the mic, yeah. and, he, and he said, hey, if them niggas want to fight, bring them up on stage. Man, I remember the crowd went crazy. Yeah. They were covering crazy. Yeah. You know? and I, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. And I remember one of the dope things about the show was 
they used to do a little dance routine together. You know, at one part of the show, they used to do the little dance routine and the crowd used to go bananas because you would never think that they would come with something like that. Yeah. But it was just, uh, th there would never be another time and another era like that again. No, no. And at that show, it was like a, almost like a family reunion because all of the, I had a lot of friends there, of course, for my party, but there was all kinds of L.A. people, like L.A. swap meet people, DJs. L.A. people that I knew from the record store. It was like you could just look at the crowd and you knew <laughs> so many people in that crowd. And they were all there because they felt a part of N.W.A., you know. Yes, like, yes. Yeah. Most definitely. Well, you heard it here first. Violet Brown, thank you very much. And I have to say that uh, not only do I thank Steve and Susan, but I also have to thank Violet because uh, I have to say – if it wasn't for Violet, I probably would not have gone as far as where I've gone. And I think you would have been very, very in instrumental, not only in my life, but also in what little career I've had. You know, and it's, I just want to take the opportunity to thank you for uh, always being there for me. Well, thank you, Tony. It's a pleasure. Okay.